Well, good morning, viewers, subscribers, Kingdom Saints. <laughs> How's everybody's morning going so far? May the good Lord bless and prosper you this day. Amen. May the good Lord bring you out of every storm that you're in right now. May the good Lord fortify you and sanctify you. Let the Holy Spirit guide you in every way. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Alrighty then. Let's go to scriptures today. Let's go to scriptures. Let's go to um let's go to Hebrews. Oh, first of all, welcome. Let's go to Hebrews twelve one. Wherefore seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the face that is set before us. Wherefore seeing we are also encompassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which thus easily beset us. Being in the presence of our saints when we fellowship with the saints, and so great a cloud of witnesses, the angels, the saints in heaven, God the Father, Jesus his Son, and the kingdom saints, warriors of God are here that we fellowship that we fellowship with let us lay aside every way all the burdens of this world cast it all to Jesus because Jesus said learn of me take my yoke upon you and learn of me for my burden is easy amen there's nothing you can't give him the sin which not so easily beset us. Yes, the sin in this world that so easily beset us, that comes upon us, or tries to come upon us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Let us run with patience. You can't rush Jesus coming. You can't rush it. But there's only one way that we can achieve it. There's only one way. By staying strong in it, in the faith. By preaching the word in season and out of season. Because when the world has been evangelized and the church is complete and the gospel has been spread throughout all the nations, our Lord, our Savior, is going to come. God is going to look at his son and say, Son, it's time. Hebrews 12, 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher. <laughs> of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the, at the right hand of the throne of God, the author and finisher of our faith, because he is the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. The beginning and the end, the author of our faith. When you accepted Jesus in your life and you made him your personal savior and you are a disciple of Christ, your faith has begun. You are a new creation. He is the author of it as he spilled his blood on the cross so that we, you and me, would not be lost. 
who for the joy that was set before him, the joy that was set before him, his resurrection, the kingdom of heaven. He endured the cross knowing that he was going to be persecuted, knowing that he was going to bear the weight of mankind's sins on his torn and battered and persecuted body, <laughs> knowing that he was truly divine, yet he humbled himself as a servant in the form of a man. Mm -hmm. Nobody can do what Jesus did or what Jesus can do. No, not me, and no, not you. Despising the shame, yes. Despising all the shame, because the people that looked at him, they didn't know who he was. It was ashamed of him. And he took our shame upon himself. He took all of our shame, all of our wickedness, all of our iniquities upon himself so that we can be righteous and we can be redeemed. And now he is seated at the right hand at the throne of God. For he is the king and the king has risen. Amen. Keep this in mind, people, when we're running this race. Never, ever, don't you ever give up. Don't you ever give up because Jesus didn't give up. He didn't give up. Jesus was at Gethsemane. And he was praying to the Father. And he said, Let this cup pass from me. Let this cup pass from me. And he needed the strength of an angel. <laughs> Hallelujah. He needed the strength of an angel because he knew he was going to take the sins of mankind and the weight of the sins of mankind was going through him. He felt it, but he said, Father God, not my will be done, but your will. And he gave up the spirit. He said, Father God, into your hands, I commit my spirit. And he said, before he bowed his head, he said, it is finished. And on that day, all of our sins were diminished. He that died by the blood and the water, on that day, all of our sins were slaughtered. <laughs> he, gave up the, he gave up his life so that we can be free. <laughs> and he gave us the victory. Men who are victorious in Christ. Jesus said, I have overcome death, and so shall you. Jesus said, I have risen from the grave, and so shall you. Isn't that good to know? Isn't that good to know? That you will be with Jesus eternally and debt has no hold on you oh that where is thy sting <laughs> amen amen okay saints I hope this uh, message encourages somebody today hope it encourages somebody today I love you all y'all stay blessed Stay strong. 
but most of all, stay strong in Christ, you heard? Thanks for watching.